How's it going viewers? Thank you guys for watching my video. In this video I'll be showing you guys how to do a hard reset on an iPhone 6. The hard reset will work on any other iPhone. Um, and what the hard reset does is it clears your phone of any information, uh, contacts, pictures, videos, anything on your phone. It wipes everything clear and sets it back to the factory settings as if it were new and you just got it from the store. Um, just before I get started, if you're just doing a hard reset because you're having some sort of malfunction, I would strongly recommend that you back up any of your information. Make sure you have it saved on your iTunes or iCloud before doing the hard reset because once you do the hard reset, it will delete all of your information. And just another question that I always get is, can I remove the Apple ID or the activation lock, anything like that? Once that, there's no way, the hard reset will not remove an Apple ID or activation lock or anything like that. So just a little heads up there for all you guys that are going to ask, please don't ask. Um, so what I'm going to do here is power off the phone. Once it's powered off, I'm going to go ahead and slide. And I'll just give it a couple seconds here just to make sure that it is fully powered off. And I will be getting out my charging cable. My charging cable is connected to my laptop. So make sure your charging cable is connected to your laptop. Once you're there, go ahead and hold the home button. And while you're holding that down, just go ahead and insert the charging cable. Keep holding. It's at the Apple screen. Make sure you're still holding your thing. And once it's on the iTunes logo, you can at this point release the iTunes logo. And from here, we will move on over to the laptop just so you guys can see what is going on over there as you guys can see the little iTunes uh, logo there is popping up for us to open and I'll go ahead and open it there's a problem with the iPhone that requires it to be updated or restored um, what I want to do is I'm going to restore it and it's gonna, it says are you sure you want to restore the iPhone to its factory settings all of your media and other data will be erased um, and the newer version of the phone software will be installed so I'm going to go ahead and hit restore and update and I want to just bring up iTunes because this is where everything is happening uh, it says iPhones in recovery mode. iTunes is preparing to restore the software on this phone. It's extracting software here up at the top. We'll go ahead and let it do its thing. In the meantime, I will give you guys a little heads up about um, the activation lock. If you guys are not aware of what it is the first link below will give you all the information that you will need it just kinda of talks about the activation lock or the Apple lock what it is what it does how it works that sorts of thing and then if you guys also want to buy a phone and make sure to make sure it's not activation locked um, the second link in the description will show you guys how to do that and now I'll just answer some of the questions that I get fairly frequent frequently um, about the hard reset and the first one being, does it remove the Apple ID or the iCloud lock? Um, no, it does not remove the Apple ID or the iCloud lock. Um, and people also ask, will this delete my, you know, delete my carrier? Will it interfere in any way with my carrier? Will it void my contract with Verizon or AT&T? No, it will not, and it will not remove the carrier. So if the phone is a Verizon phone, you do the hard reset, it will still be a Verizon phone. It won't be unlocked. You won't be able to go use it on a different provider. You know, if it's a, a Verizon phone and do an unlock and go use it on AT&T, that's not what this video is showing you guys how to do, so that will not work. And then people will ask, uh, do you have to use an Apple product to reset the iPhone? No, you don't. You can use, you know, your regular HP or your Lenovo, whatever you have, any kind of laptop computer. The only requirement is that you have to have iTunes on your uh, computer. And then there's a, every now and then you'll run into errors, different errors. And the first thing I would recommend is make sure your iTunes is up downloaded. The latest version of iTunes is on your computer. 
Um, the next one, if you guys get some sort of error, I would try using a different charger cable. Make sure it is the original charging cable. Um, as you guys can see, the one that I have here is fairly beat up there, but it's the one that works with this phone. So that's what I'm using in this demonstration. And if you've tried to do the latest version of iTunes, you've tried the tr different charging cable. Um, the next thing I would recommend is try a different computer. Maybe for some reason they're just not working well with each other. You can also try a different computer. And the last question that I get asked fairly co uh, fairly frequently is, how long does this take? And and my question is, well, it depends on a lot of different things. There's you got to take into consider into consideration internet speed, uh, computer speed how full your phone is if you got if your phone is maxed out and it's got to go through and delete all of all of your old stuff and bring in the new stuff so that could also take a while so there's a lot of variables to take in, to, into account for that question so there's no way for me to answer your questions and tell you oh it's going to take you 30 minutes or 10 minutes or an hour um, it all depends there's a lot of different variables that go into that determining the speed or the length of the hard reset And just going back here to the hard reset, as you guys can see, it's restoring the firmware. Computer part is done. Now it's just waiting on the iPhone. And the iPhone here is finishing up. And now we should be doing a reset, restarting the phone, starting it back up. It'll go through the second loading screen. That bar will load all the way. And the screen here popped up as if you're starting a new phone. You can set up as new uh, as a new iPhone or restore this from a back backed up version. I'm just gonna go ahead and wait and show you guys that the phone is at its factory settings. And at this point, you guys can go ahead and unplug it. The laptop doesn't make that big of a difference, so I'm gonna go ahead and slide back down. And I'm just going to go ahead and really quickly start this phone back up just to make sure that everything is working properly. So I got my internet signed up there. Disable locations. I'm just going to do this as a new iPhone. Um, skip the Apple ID. Agree to the terms and conditions skip the touch ID and then don't add a password don't use Siri don't send um, zoomed or standard doesn't really matter and welcome to iPhone get started and here you have it um, if you're selling your phone I'd recommend you take it through these steps and get it to this screen to where it's on the home on the home screen um, that way you won't have people asking, hey, what's your Apple ID? I'm trying to do a reset here and I don't have the information. So I'd recommend you do that before you sell it or ship it off. And like I said, if you guys are buying iPhones, be very cautious. A lot of people try to steal stuff. Um, make sure you're doing the right thing. Check out the two links in the description below. Uh, if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, go ahead and put them in the comment section below. I will try to answer them as soon as I can. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Thanks. Have a nice day.